Hello everyone. I'm extremely super duper excited to introduce picture blogs for my viewers after a very long gap. Picture blogs, a very interesting platform for programming. It is actually a combo of scratch programming and python programming. Quite interesting, right? Let's explore the world of programming by creating a loan interest calculator using picture blocks so if you know python programming as well as scratch programming it's going to be very simple so for this we should know what is the formula to calculate simple interest that is p into r into t by 100 so p is the principal amount r is the rate of interest t is the time period so once we know what is simple interest let's calculate what is the amount so amount is equal to principal plus simple interest so with this formula it is very simple to develop a program to calculate the interest okay so let's open picture blocks in that let's open python coding okay so this is how your python interface looks so a fresh new file is open so we have to type the coding in this new python interface so let's first define a function to calculate the interest okay so normally in python we'll use def right the same way only so def interest calculator let's pass three variables principal rate and time as the argument okay and let's end with the statement colon okay let's end the statement with the colon that is your function definition and then let's calculate the amount so amount is equal to the principal amount plus the simple interest the formula for simple interest is principal into rate into time slash 100 right the same so amount is equal to principal plus principal into rate into time slash 100 so now once we calculate the amount either we have to print the amount or we have to return the amount right so let's use return function so return what has to be written the amount has to be written so let's write return amount so this is your function definition now to calculate the um, uh, interest we should call this function so before that let's get input from the user what is the principal what is the rate what is the time so for that let's use sprite dot input okay sprite dot input and within parenthesis you can uh, give the statement enter the principal amount please be careful with the indentation okay so sprite dot input enter the principal amount so what is principal principal is equal to float let it be float the data type can be float float or sprite dot answer you can give even integer also right so this is your first input next uh, let's get the input of rate okay rate of interest to sprite dot input enter the interest rate and then we'll get ra rate is equal to that is also we can assume it as float data type float sprite dot answer similarly we have to get the input of time also from the user so uh, again time is equal to uh, uh, sorry sprite dot input enter the uh, time and then let's calculate time is equal to float of sprite dot answer now we have received all the inputs from the user right let's call the function which is already created to calculate the interest calculator right so sprite dot say say it is like displaying the answer printing the answer okay so i want amount is what statement or what message has to be displayed can be given within parenthesis and you can join the output along with this so i'm giving plus so all we calculated is in the form of float i want to convert it into string so str then you can give you can call the function which is already created interest calculator by passing the values like principal rate comma time and you can give specify number of seconds the answer has to be displayed 
right i'm going to give it as some 5 okay 5 seconds the answer should get displayed let's execute this uh, uh, program by clicking the run okay you have to click run oops there is an error so what is the error uh, plus string int i have to separate the number of seconds i give i didn't give a comma so a comma has to be inserted fine so let's again execute using run yes it is asking enter the principal amount so just enter the principal amount press the tick mark then it is asking enter the rate of interest so this is how the sprite is get receiving the input from the user and then enter the period as 3 oops there is an error occurred while so what is the error let's find out what is the error yes so amount is equal to principal instead of small letter l i have given a capital letter python this is case sensitive so change it to smaller case again let's execute run fine okay enter the principal amount i'm giving 15000 then enter the rate of interest i'm giving 12 and then enter the period let me give it as 3 so let's see the amount is displayed it is calculated 20400 and the amount was displayed only for 5 seconds so if you want to be displayed as it is without specifying you remove the seconds again it is asking the input enter the principal amount i'm giving the same 15000 12 and the period is 3 now this will be displayed so it is very simple and interesting right so you we can try many programs like this thank you for watching and being with me so this is a very simple program to calculate the interest simple interest right now i am saving this program as interest calculator wherever you want to save you can save it in your system whether it is desktop or in any folder you can save it so thanks for watching this video thank you so much for your patience